Elon went on a public Twitter space. And I'm going to be playing part of it, but I suggest you go and listen to the whole thing because it did not go well for him at all, in my opinion. Now, before we get into listening to the audio, please remember that Elon Musk in this call said that his personal Twitter account is critical to the Tesla stock price. That's very important. He is telling these people that he needs to be using Twitter like he does because it'll help the Tesla stock price. Now, he got confronted by a shareholder with a trans daughter about his comments involving pronouns, the trans community, things like that. And they even gave him an out saying, well, what about, you know, how it affects the Tesla stock price? And Elon Musk's response was so bad, you will be hearing people that are defending Elon jumping in, putting words in his mouth, essentially, to get him to save himself. This was terrible. Let's listen to some of it. Um, and it, it's not always directly related to what you say, but kind of some of the opinions or attention you draw to things like pronouns or something like that. And it's just, it's sad for me to watch that happen. And um, so I've tried to speak out about that. You know, it doesn't really go anywhere, but um, I, I do worry also as a shareholder about, you know, are we alienating certain people, not just extreme left people, but just kind of in the middle folks like myself that, um, you know, it's just added in some politics and controversy that um, takes away a little bit of the shine off of our Tesla. Um, now, I did sell my Model 3, but it was mostly because I live in Alaska. We're missing some chargers. I'm going to throw in a plug for that. But, um, you know, still a big fan. Like I said, still have our shares, you know, still love driving our Teslas around. But I do, I, I was just wondering if you've thought about that at all as you're, you know, taking on this big uh, Twitter job. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, I'm not going to like sort of suppress my views. Uh, you know, so it's like, you know, it's just just to, just to boost the stock price. So I'm like, that's I'm like I'm not going to do it. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think that's what he's saying, though, Elon. I, I I think when you listen to how quick they jumped in, they knew as soon as that response was out there, this is not going well. We've got to jump in. We've got to save Elon because people can't can't just hear that segment. We have to have a defense of Elon in here because that's pretty damning. You own a media property there's this perception of independence that's expected from the owner and the wall street journal is owned by rupert murdoch but he doesn't write the opinion pieces even though we know it's his opinion and so i think <laughs> it, you know so i think it it sort of like throws people off that the owner has an opinion now i i don't think your opinions are extreme but a lot of people in the media take what you say and by the time the customers read it it's not what you said at all and you know, I, I just think there's this big perception gap being driven on beliefs that aren't even yours, really, because you're saying something, you know, and I just think that part of it, it's almost like a trap that that don't, it's like a lose lose trap. And, and I hate seeing people get caught in that. So he interrupted what Elon Musk was actually saying to tell everyone to not believe the media of, about what Elon Musk is saying. And he wanted to make sure he could put his own spin on what Elon Musk was saying. Because the people that just heard Elon Musk say those words, he didn't like how they were going to react to those words. Right. Right, dude. Well, we got a little more. So, Elon Musk tells a Tesla super fan and shareholder with a trans daughter that pronouns are a shield that allow people to be assholes and give people an excuse to be an asshole. Now, mind you, this is Elon Musk who uh, spent $44 billion to buy Twitter to basically insult people. That's, that's what this whole thing was about, was Elon Musk using his money and his prowess as a shield to go on Twitter and then say, like, hateful things. That's what they were calling out. And he's now like, no, my account's important. I can't stop. Like, mind blown, but let's listen. As, as the other guy said, hey, maybe I'm I'm misconstruing it. Maybe I'm misunderstanding it. So let's hear Elon. Hopefully no one else will jump in and try to correct Elon of his own thoughts, right? Do, you don't hate trans people, do you? Or what no, are your thoughts on that? Uh, no, of course not. Um, so, uh, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not in general a hater of anyone, frankly. So, uh, but I, you know, I think that there's, 
you know, we, we, we... I, I, I know I was going to say it's let him go, but I have to put it in there. I'm not a hater of trans people, but, but let's go back. Let's go back. Let's, let's do the full thing. I don't want to interrupt him. So, uh, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not in general a hater of anyone, frankly. So, uh, but I, you know, I think that there's, you know, we, 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 the, the thing that, like it does, it does bother me that that people will use like pronouns to be just be super judgmental, um, and actually, this, I just have I, to me it feels like a lot of these things are like uh, just allow they're they're a shield that allow people to be assholes. They're like a moral shield that where they can they they just it just gives them a an excuse to be an asshole, and, and that's that's what that bothers me. Um, so, yeah, I get that. And it, but I think what happens real easily in the media is it just appears that you're like punching down to a really marginalized group. Like my kid is just trying to have like their pronoun used in school and stuff. And it's like, you know, then you have this really rich, popular person like crapping on pronouns, but it gets mixed up. And it's like, I think the people that you're talking about, like it gets mixed up and then uh, people just see it as a more broader thing that you're like, you know, being negative towards trans people. But okay, I do so have to let's, ask let's you really- Let's move on to the next conversation. Yeah, yeah we got um, Gary and Chuck the... with hands up too. We're gonna... So what do you think? I mean, really what Elon Musk did was funnily enough in the way he worded this, if you take the wording he used, you could use this for people being transphobic. You really could. So, for example, let's say there's a trans woman, and they refer to them as he. And then they go, well, I'm just being biologically correct. And you know, you know that that's a defense they use. And they're just using that as a shield to be an asshole and to give them an excuse. Elon Musk, in his rant there, is trying to find a way to not sound as transphobic as he's, you know, coming across, he tried to make that trans people and people with pronouns that in their bio, things like that, they are the real, real problem, right? That's what he's kind of going with. But the argument that he makes could be used that people like Elon are the wrong. His own argument, really. If I took this exact argument and I had reworded it and just put it about people insulting trans people, Elon Musk, I get the feeling, would have a different opinion and would suddenly say about how pronouns are not just used as a shield and they're... Elon Musk is a dick. And he's a dick running a huge social media company now with the tanking stock price of Tesla. And he went on a... On a on a live video call chat thing, not really a video, but he went on it and just showed how bad he is at, at this. And the thing is, like, if you scroll, you can find so much more people going through this. There's so much that was said and done. Him complaining about Twitter bots, talking about warehouses with a hundred phones each and that stormy waters are ahead, and he admitted that he had to intervene to take over his autopilot system and his own Tesla. As I said, this is a call that I think people that are defending Elon should really listen to. Uh, I feel like a lot of people defending Elon haven't heard him ever get, like, questioned. And a lot of the stuff he's saying here, of course, Elon's fans are going to say they're misconstruing it in the media. When in the call... Elon defenders were basically rushing to interrupt Elon to defend him because the words he says are bad. They're bad. 